So you do you think the Earth is flat? I do, and cool evolution. I mean, evolution in terms of uh, species adapting to their environment. I do agree with that, but you know, growing another leg or growing hands or looking different that's not true and big bang theory there's no sufficient evidence for that for that too i mean none of it really especially flat earth so much evidence for that (laughs) so which which thing do you want to talk about i mean you can choose whatever you want um sorry um oh boy evolution so what's your problem with evolution in terms of like evolution when i talk about evolution in terms of species adapting to their environment i do agree with that but to the point that they grow a leg or you know they look different than they were they looked before that's not true and what evidence do you have that species don't change over haven't changed over long periods of time well that is the positive argument positive claim that's your positive claim what is your evidence for that what are you going to say when i show you the evidence because i'm going to do it in about 10 seconds here you're going to say retroviruses and all of that nope right, so if humans if humans evolved what would the evidence look like Uh, let's say a picture, some history of them, uh, you know, socializing. You have no Which, idea what the evidence would look like, do you? What do you mean, like fossil fields and stuff like that? Is that what you're talking about? You have no idea. So humans are upright walking primates, which is pretty unique. We have the largest brains by far. And compared to other primates, we have really flat faces and small jaws. So. If we evolved, it means that the oldest fossils shouldn't look like that, but they should gradually start to look more modern, right? Well, my, my argument is that if, if evolving doesn't change our appearance. Yeah, I know that's your argument, but if we did evolve, then our appearance would change, and that's what the evidence would be, correct? Where in history have you ever read about or? Yeah, we're getting there. I'm asking you to acknowledge that that's what the evidence would look like, right? The evidence would look like what? I just told you. Can you repeat it again? So. If we evolved, we're upright walking primates with the biggest brains and flat faces, among other things. So that would mean a long time ago, we looked different. We wouldn't have as big a brains and we wouldn't have as flat a face as we currently do. Do you understand? If we evolved? Yep. Yes, that's that's your claim, yeah. Yep, we have exactly that evidence. So there you go. My point is that how do you know that's not uh, an ape's skull and that they are ape skulls? We are apes. It's just that we, the ones right here, didn't used to exist. Instead, it was these different uh, species of human. But we did I coexist know. with some. How do you of them. know they're human? How do you know they're not monkeys or gorilla? <laughs> because we know what, what monkey and gorilla human? bones look like, and we know that these are not that. Or an ape. <clears throat> You know, gorilla or monkeys that are, that went extinct. Because we know what gorilla and monkey bones look like, and they don't look like these. What do you mean? I literally can't explain it to you any more simply than no, no, that. I'm telling you, so these bones... How do you know that these aren't giraffes? Because they look like gorilla. They They look like apes, but they don't really... They are look- apes. Congratulations. Right, but they're not human. Yes, they are. Because we know what human bones look like. Yeah, we know that, but we also know... Yeah, and that's what these are. So there we go. What's your next question? All right. If that's your evidence, if that's what you believe, that's what you want to believe, I guess. But uh, 
Oh, we have There's so some... much more evidence than that. Do you want to talk about some more? All right. But I mean, what what evidence do you have that uh, a a whale grew legs and walked on on land and everything like that? What that evidence? never happened. That never happened. Okay. How about? But whales did lose their legs and went into the sea. How do you know that? Because whales don't have hind legs. And we have the transitional fossils of them. What? Fossils. So what? listen. What? You gotta, you gotta understand what? that. Fossils, what? just like the skull you have right now, they look like apes to me. The first one looks like an They an are ape. apes. I mean, a monkey to me. And the other one... The That's last because one you like don't know what monkeys look like. <laughs> all right. Is this like... All right. Let's talk about... What other evidence do you have instead of some skull? They look like human instead of assuming they look like human. And so they are, they are human or what, I, what other evidence do you have? Uh, if evolution is true, then it means all life on the planet is related, right? Yes. All life on the planet is related. Are we related with uh, monkeys? DNA? Yeah. yeah. How about uh, bananas? Yeah, you share genes in common with bananas. Not very 70, many of them. 70%? But you do. No. Yes. <laughs> if you believe that just because we are related to other animals, doesn't matter how close their relation is, we also relate to bananas. 70% of our DNA relates to bananas. So you have to believe that. Does we were not as before too. You do not share seventy percent of your DNA with a banana, and sharing DNA with something doesn't mean you come from it. Okay? Do you have Do you have a brother? I know, but with, yeah, I do. Do you have a brother? I do have a brother, but you have to understand that. When did your brother fuck your mom, and and then when did she give birth to you? What? When did your brother fuck your mom and get your mom pregnant with you? Where's, what does it have to do with anything? Congratulations. Being related to something doesn't mean that you come from it. Do you understand? But you're, you're telling me that we can't... Do you understand? Do you understand that being related to something yeah, doesn't that's, mean that's that you come what from it? My point it. is, are you claiming Yes, that, that is your point. Voice. That was your point. You said we are related to bananas, which means you have to believe you come from bananas. When did your brother fuck your mom? Never, but you're related to your brother? So, being related to something doesn't mean that you come from it. Do you understand? But you're claiming that our ancestors were apes. Do you understand? That has nothing to do. That's, that, that's it has no everything to do with it because, once again, you said being related to bananas means we come from bananas. That's not what it means. Do you I'm understand? Going off topic, right? I'm, I'm no, I'm not. You everything. said this. I'm sticking to the topic. You are desperately trying to change the subject. Okay, do you I understand just, that being related to something doesn't mean you come from it? Yeah, I do understand that, but are you claiming you. that we, we came from apes, that our ancestors were apes? We are apes. Monkey-looking apes? Yes. You, yes? Yeah, we are apes. So, of course, we, we came from apes. So we call, we evolved from apes. Yes. Because we we share our DNA DNA majority of, of our DNA with them. Yeah, that but is the supporting evidence for the claim. But we yes. We don't evolve with from bananas. Doesn't matter. Correct. But do we share seventy percent of our DNA with bananas? No, we don't. We share maybe one percent at best. 65 to 70 percent no we do not unlike you i have spoken to multiple geneticists we do not share anywhere kind of close DNA to more than one percent of our dna with bananas I understand, but there's two kind of dna's the 90 to 98 percent with apes the same dna we share with apes we also share we're with a uh, banana no. 70 of no we so don't you want some I, I can show you some uh evidence if you want you go ahead and find the paper that says something about proteins being approximately that similar between us and them. Search. Do you do we share our DNA with banana? Did you just do a quick search? Everyone can do it. You'll sh you'll find it out. I've done this before. I wrote a goddamn book about this. 
Are you talking about the AI generated answer that Google well, gives share you? A significant amount of our DNA with banana, approximately 50% it says. Yeah, that's 100% wrong. I, I could even tell you the study that this came from and how they got it wrong. So you're claiming that an evidence from Google, is Google giving me the wrong evidence? I've yes, that does that happen way. from time to time. You know what I can do? I can say, give me a source for this and it will give me a source. You know, you understand, right? I can show you the source too. But I can't, I can't share my screen here. Let's talk about something else then. If you believe, okay, but if you believe that we, sh the DNA, DNA argument is not sufficient enough because we share our DNA with bananas too. Like I said, I showed you a, a, from Google, from an AI Google, usually they are correct. You're claiming they're not, so I, I don't know what to say to you now. I'm saying you should do some better research. I'm aware of where this thing with bananas com comes from. It's usually the number is 40%. There was a study where they compared proteins that humans and bananas have in common. So they completely disregarded all the ones we don't have in common. They only looked at the ones we do have in common. And then they found that on average, they were 40% similar. So the proteins that bananas make that we also make are 40% similar on average. But that has that is absolutely no way of telling how genome wide uh, similar you are. <clears throat> you, you understand, it says genetics. It yeah, says and it's wrong. Of, uh, you're claiming that, that Google is wrong. Yes, because I, I, can, I can get you the original study from this if you want. I would just have to look it up. I'd have to grab my book right over there and you can look it up yourself. I guess I can find another one for you. I mean, is, uh, do you want that? No. You don't want it. Okay. I mean, you're denying because I've done this before. So you've done it before. Explain to me why Google is telling me a lie. Then <laughs> I just explained it to you. If I could, you do me a favor and Google is the Earth flat. That's not what we were talking about. Could you do me a favor and Google is the Earth flat? That. Here I'll, because, yeah, Here, I'll do it. Here, I'll do it. I'll do it. Is the Earth so, flat? I understand, but because... Google said no. The, uh, so are you denying what Google says? I'm saying that because it goes against the narrative that is placed upon us, it will never give you the right question, the right answer. So, so when it says bananas are 50% related to us, that's not the right answer. You just said that Google will never give you the right answer. But Thank you're you. Denying, you're denying it. Right? Are you denying it? I'm doing exactly the same thing that you did. All right, we can. I guess if you want to deny it, we, we me and you know it's true. But let's go back to flat earth.